Good morning friends, Diana here from Garden Love. I wanted to do a quick video about my amazing creepy myrtle plant. As you guys can see, it's ginormous. It's up to the second level of my house and it is so gorgeous, guys. Look at that. I actually discovered this plant here in my property when I moved in. Um, when I moved in, they did tell me that there was a creepy myrtle. However, it, was, it hadn't popped out from down there. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with fruit trees and I love growing things in container because that's the only space I'm, I'm allotted to do, um, to grow things in. So therefore, I chopped it down. I didn't care. I didn't know about the, the creepy myrtle. So I chopped it down and um, I put uh, basically a tile or a brick or whatever you want to call it, a uh, stepping stone down there. And then I put my amazing uh, kefir lime here okay and I decided to um, chop it down so I thought okay it's gone I tried to pull it out the roots were so big that I couldn't pull it out so I just chopped it down all the way to the ground uh, and then when spring and summer came along that very year we got some new leaves like this and I got some beautiful little flowers at the end of it I'm like oh well, that's pretty it really adds to um the you know the garden so i let it be and then that very summer it completely took off all the way up there and quite frankly as you guys know i like my garden to look like a jungle so i didn't care i let it be and that's where it's gonna be after spring i'll probably chop some of those branches down that way it can branch out a little further and completely cover that wall actually when i'm doing my laundry up there is quite a beautiful sight to see those beautiful blooms up there it is gorgeous guys are you guys familiar with creepy myrtle by the way thank you to the subscriber that told me the name of this plant she saw it in one of my videos and pointed it out and i didn't know the name now i do thank you so much you're the best that's why i love this community guys you guys always teach me new things and i learned from you guys um and you you know you guys helped me out i didn't know the name now i do so that's why i'm making this video i want to show you guys how amazing this is i mean seriously look at this it is ginormous hopefully you guys can see how tall it has gotten look at my gold berry growing in a container my kefir my roses my wawa to the left my blood orange to the right and it's just in a matter of maybe three feet in a very narrow space guys if you didn't believe you can grow fruit or food in your garden because you have such a small space you sure can and look at this there's layers of plants here and I really wish I can go to the roof and show you how beautiful those blooms are I do want to say they do throw some sap let me show you guys do you guys see that gloss that is sap from the creepy myrtle falling off the blooms um, so just keep that in mind when you grow them what I do here in the afternoons I just water these uh, leaves so to get rid of it because these leaves are actually used to cook with so um, I try to use a brand new growth but if I need to use one of these I just wash it off really well but look at that guys do you guys have this plant it come in bush form and in a tree form so i'm curious if you guys are familiar with this it's very very pretty i do want to say as you can tell it grows very aggressively so i'm assuming that the roots from this plant are traveling all under this concrete which means that um it hasn't i haven't noticed any effects on anything but i tried pulling those roots and they were and they're super super strong so i left it there and look what's happening so it's a vigorous plan it will survive multiple weathers uh, cold and um, hot summer days so I think you could pretty much grow this just about anywhere and like I mentioned I chopped it all the way down so even if you get really cold winters and the top dies down it is going to take off again Cause look at that 
well guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you guys either learned something from this video or um you just enjoyed the pretty sight i'm showing you guys i love you all thank you guys for being here thank you for the comments the likes and the subscriptions if you're new welcome i'm happy to have you here i look forward to hearing from you in the comments down below i hope you guys have a blessed day and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye